Alrighty, in this video, we will be covering everything from the Browns to the Cavs to the Guardians. So we're going to start it off with the Browns announcing their new practice squad for the season. It's actually very interesting. All 13 players on the practice squad have played with the Browns this preseason, and many, many of them just got cut yesterday. If you guys are interested to see the whole practice squad, I'll put all the names right here so you can pause the video. Now that we got that covered, we're going to be jumping into my opinion on the three keys to success for the Cleveland Cavaliers this season to win a championship. The first key to success is that Evan Mobley takes a big jump in his game. We saw it late in the postseason last season. He was having games with double-digit rebounds. He was getting a ton of blocks. We see that this entire year. That's some all-star level talent right there, and we need that to get to the finals and make a deep postseason run. My second key to success is that Darius Garland stays healthy. Last season, Darius Garland was out for about six to eight weeks with a jawline fracture. And that play right there made him lose 10 to 15 pounds because all he could eat was soup. That's literally all he could eat. If he isn't out for that much time, maybe we could see us at the two or the three seed instead of the four seed that we ended up at. I think he's a big difference maker this year. His playmaking changes the whole game for us. My final key to success is that we need another scorer to step in. Last season, especially in the postseason in that Orlando Magic series, we should not have taken them to a Game 7. That was a good Game 5 or Game 6 series. Donovan Mitchell was playing 40 minutes a game, absolutely carrying our team. In those 8 minutes that he was out, those were our longest scoring droughts. Donovan Mitchell is one of the best solo scorers in the league. He's so good at making a shot for himself. But the thing is, is he's literally all we have. Who knows, maybe Jalen Tyson will step in and become another guy. He looked really, really good in the summer league. But then again, he's still just young and just came from California, not a really big Division I school. So we're going to have to see how that pans out. Maybe there will be some trades involved before this season starts, or maybe even mid-season before the trade deadline. Finally, we're going to be talking about the Guardians. As I'm speaking, the Guardians are actually up 7-5, to five in the bottom of the eighth but when this video comes out the game will be ended so let's cross our fingers they're going to hold on to this the thing that i want to cover is two days ago where we lost both double headers against the royals the first game was okay we put up a pretty good fight but the second game we got absolutely embarrassed nine to four and the big difference maker was stephen kwan was not playing to his level that i know he can play at in our nine to four loss he went one for five He's one of the best hitters in baseball, and he's going one for five in the second game of a doubleheader. That just doesn't seem right. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't all his fault. We did let up nine runs. Our pitching was not great. But I do believe that he's a big difference maker in our team from the wins and losses. The stats prove it. So let's hope our Guardians can get back on track and back on a winning streak and end this season strong. That'll be all for me. Have a great night, and if you liked anything I said in this video, please hit a like and hit that subscribe button. Oh, 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 oh,